everyone. How are you guys tonight? I am Brenda with Reese by Busy Bees Custom Creations. Hey, Pat. Hey, Lynette. Hey, Janie. How are you? How are you guys all doing on this fine Thursday evening? Can't believe it's Thursday already. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my friend in Virginia. Hey, Aubrey. Um, Kathy from A Different Canvas is the name of her um, Facebook page made me these. Aren't these great? Love them. They turned out so well. Hey, Susie. All right. Hey, Pat. How you feeling? So tonight we're going to be doing the last of the three Easter kits. Thank you so much, Bessie. I am 129 people away from 10,000 likes. So please share, share, share if you would. All right, so this is the last um, of the kits. This one is um, Eggs This Way. Hello, everyone. So we're going to make this one tonight. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. So um, I went ahead and have everything cut. Oh, good. Hey, Kate. Um, if you need to see how to make the wreath frame, I have other videos on it. And I also have um, the video that we made that one, Eggs This Way, or Egg Hunt. Um, I showed you how to do it there. And so if you can't find it, just let me know. And I can always um, send you the link for it. Hello, hello, Kate. Hey, Judy. So we're going to use the 21-inch ma white mesh. There's Kathy. Kathy, I was just telling them about my shirt and about where to get it. Kathy is the owner of a different canvas. So if you guys are looking for shirts or mugs or car decals or anything you can think of, Kathy can do it. And she was fast. And I love, love, love the way she did it. Now, I want to show you the difference, Kathy. Because I had ordered this shirt um, a while ago from Vistaprint. Now, look at the quality of that. Okay, it's okay, right? It still looks good. It's nice. But look at Kathy's. Look at the difference. Look, how, look the colors. So, I just love these new shirts. But look, that is kind of dull and faded. And hmm. Hi, T-Shell. So, but this is the one Kathy did from a different canvas. I love it. So anyway, so yeah, so I, I told her, I said, I, she's made a monster out of me because now I want all different things. I'm going to get a car decal. I'm going to get a mug. I'm having some shirts made. So we're going to do 12 inch poofs. Yeah, she did a great job. And like I said, she was fast too. So um, check out her Facebook page, and if you need anything, just send her a message. So I'm sure she could make it. All right, so. Hey, Dora, I know. Aren't they nice? She did a great job. I was like, I had had that one from Vistaprint, and I was like, mm, it didn't really turn out great, you know. I really didn't like it, but I went ahead and ordered it. Just thought, you know, let me see. And then I got these, and I was like, wow. And Kathy, my husband printed, pointed out that these are Steelers colors, because <laughs> he's from Pittsburgh. I was like, oh, I didn't even notice that. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Jerry Lynn. How's it going? So, oh, my goodness. Good evening. All right. I always have it on my phone, too, just to kind of make sure I... See if there's any problems going on. I know my husband, he's from Pittsburgh, so yes, Steelers all the way for him. <clears throat> hey, Carolyn. Hey, Kim. So um, I do still have some of these kits left in my Etsy shop. Hey, Sandy. Sandy, did you survive the week with your grandkids? I know you said them, you had them all for a week. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Sherry. So again, we're just doing the 12-inch poofs all the way around. Thanks, Kim. I was just telling everyone I got them at... Um... Oh, good, Mary Ellen. Yay! Um, my husband was from North Hills. So he lived in North Hills. Um, I guess from downtown... I don't know. I don't remember how far it is from downtown Pittsburgh. But good evening, Debbie. 
All right. Yeah, he's a big Steelers fan. So we are back at the beginning. And so I opened that one up. That's the only one I really open up. Oh, good. Glad you survived. <laughs> so that's how it looks with just the top done. And now we're going to go to the bottom row. And we're going to, you don't want to pull it hard. You just kind of want to gently put it down here on this row. And we will open this one back up as well. Okay, so now we're going to go around the bottom row exactly the same way as we went around the top row. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, I was just saying my friend Kathy did them. Her Facebook page is called A Different Canvas, if you guys are looking for any shirts. Oh, they live in South Hills? Hey, Teresa. My friend Teresa from Wreath Addiction RN. You guys, go check out her Facebook page. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can't remember. It's been so long. Hey, Shirley. How are you? Yeah, Pittsburgh is nice, but they get way too much snow for me. <laughs> Good evening, Diana. How are you? So if you would please like and follow my page. I'm trying to reach that 10,000 mark goal for likes. I know. I know. I like them too. She did a great job. I think I'm like 129 likes away. So thank you, Teresa. Like I said, I'm just going around the bottom row as well. Oh, good, Cheryl. I, that was the cutest wreath. I loved that wreath. Oh, my word. I think I think I mailed your, um, your bunnies today. You're going to Sims on Saturday? Oh, my gosh. I'm so jealous, Carl. I want to go to Sims. I want to go to Sims. I know Bev was just there today, right? I think Bev was there today. Do you have a whole list of stuff you want to get, Carl, or are you just going to wing it? Hey, Sharon. I have to stop saying hey, because that's what sets my phone off. <laughs> Greetings. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Kim. I appreciate that. <clears throat> I know. I wish I could, Carl. Oh, my word. I would love to. My sister, Pat, lives in North Carolina, about an hour away from one. And I'm going to her house in um, July, right before Wreath Makers Live. So we're going to definitely make a trip to there. Do you, do you live near the one in um, North Carolina? Or what's, what's the other one in Georgia, I think it is, where they all go? Oh, they do? I haven't been to AC more. I'm trying not to spend a lot of money. I know. Me too, Teresa. I'm jealous too. Hey, Johnny. How's it going? Hey, Patsy. Thank you, Mary. Yep, I got it from a different canvas. She has a Facebook page, group or a page on Facebook, so go check her out. I'm going to an easy one tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what's on sale. You have to see. Hey, PK, how are you? Oh, I went to Michael's today. And, um, which store is going to be closing? Sandy? Oh, you're four hours away from Georgia. Oh, Sandy, now you piqued my curiosity. AC Moore's not closing, are they? Yeah, I went to um, Michael's yesterday, and or today, and um, they had some grab, you know, like those grab bags, but two big boxes. Hey, Marianne, how's it going? Um, so I was like, I'm just going to, I'm going to buy two of them. They were $4. 
Now, Tichella Sims is a wholesale place that you can only shop at if you have a wholesale license, and it's huge. It's like, oh my word, all this, oh, okay, yeah, all the um, ribbon and mesh and signs and all that kind of stuff, uh, they have tons of it. I mean, I've never been, but it looks amazing, and... They have 50 yard rolls of ribbon and just all kinds of stuff. So if you have a wholesale number, a resale number, you can um, you can go if you live close enough. <laughs> they closed several AC Moors, really. Now see, there's one literally like five minutes from my house and then there's another one one way about 20 minutes from my house and another one another way about 20 minutes from my house so they are all over the place and the one in Norristown they just opened up like I think last year so yeah I like AC more I like it better than Michael's um, but you know sometimes one has better ribbon than the other one and I don't know Huh, yeah, I don't know. Where do you live at, Susan? Okay, so we're back at the last one here. And then we will open that one up, and then we're going to do that crisscross method. <clears throat> Yeah, I think they are too, Debbie. I'm not sure. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. I got it. Okay, so now we're done. Hi, Joanne. We're done going around the top and the bottom row with the poofs. So now I'm going to do the crisscross method. So what you do is you just take your mesh. I'm on the bottom row, and I'm going to go to the top row. The next tie over. I don't really measure these. Oh, wow. But I just pull it and put it in that twist tie. And then what it does is it kind of helps to fill in the gaps in the middle a little bit. See how that kind of helps like over here. You can see it's a little kind of, you know, loose looking. Oh, okay. I know it does sound like heaven, doesn't it, T Shell? I would love to go. I'm so excited. We're gonna I'm gonna go um, to my sister's in July. But I'm like, hmm. Oh, <laughs> no problem, so I'm like, oh, maybe I should drive down to North Carolina and visit my sister. I wonder how long the drive it is. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, I'm only 129 away from 10,000 likes, so if you guys could share, if you don't already like and follow my, play, my page, please do so, and then please share so I can get some more. Yes, it's called a different canvas with a K, Marlene, K-A-N-V-A-S. Yeah. Hey, Kay. Um, she lives in a town. Pat, are you still on here? Oh, it's, it's a weird name, like P-F-A-F-F-T-O-W-N. Poof Town or Pack Town or something. Thank you for sharing. I can never pronounce the name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's with a K. Hey, Margie. Yeah, it's a different canvas with a K. Thank you for sharing, Sharon. And I do um, copy these videos to um, YouTube. And if you're watching YouTube, um, the live only works on Facebook. Sorry. There she is. There's Pat. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Margie. I appreciate that. 
I said I'm getting close, only 129 away. Oh no! Yeah, you know what? I, there's so many craft stores. I really hope they don't close them. I like the AC Moors. Thank you for sharing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going down in July. So if anybody's going to be in that area, we can all meet there. That would be fun. Thank you, thank you, Edna. 30 miles from you? Oh, Marianne. Have you gone? I know, I so want to go. Hey, Kimberly, I'm doing well, thank you. Like I said, I'm just doing the crisscross method to kind of fill in the center where it's a little thin looking. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but over here the crisscross method is done, and then over here it's not, so this looks a little thinner. Not much, not by much, but... Thank you, Sue. Oh, you don't have a tax ID? Uh, I know, I'm about to tell my sister she needs to go for me. <laughs> Because even Lori says that um, the one in North Carolina, I think she says the one in North Carolina is a little better than the one in Georgia. I don't know. But, okay, so we're almost back at the beginning. We have two more to do here. Thank you. Hey, Tanya, how's it going? <clears throat> Last one here, and then we are back at the beginning. Then we'll cut it off. Yeah, I think it's more, Caroline, I think AC Moore is more of um, an East Coast thing because I know they have them in um, Virginia. I know they have them in South Carolina because I go there. Hey, Patricia. I go to the, there's an AC Moore in uh, Myrtle Beach that I go to. All right, so then I'm going to take this tail and then just tuck it under. So when you crisscross what I use the full pipe cleaners, Kathy, when I do the, the um, twist ties. And I just go from the top to the bottom, top to the bottom like that. I only use the, I know it confuses people, um, I only use the half pipe cleaners for the first go round of the mesh. Whoops, I'm losing everything. Okay, so we're done with the mesh. And then when you put your pipe, and when you put your, um, zip ties in. You want to make sure and twist those to the front so they don't scratch anything. Hey Donna, how are you? So then I'm just going to go through and make sure all my poofs are poofed out and get my pipe cleaners where I can find them. Um, Cindy, I am making the last of the um, Easter wreath kits I have. This one is the little chick with eggs this way. The other two I already made, although there are still a few of each of them in my shop. Just trying to get these all kind of poofed out here. <clears throat> Get the pipe clean. Oh, that one came untied. Guess I didn't do that one tight enough. Okay. That one. All right. Okay. 
So then what comes with this kit is four different two and a half inch ribbons. You have the little bunnies here. You have the little like little balls, all different Easter colors. And then this plaid. Oh, thank you, Tanya. I know it turned out so cute. And then the little egg ribbon. Okay, so what I did was I cut this into um, 12 inch strips. Whoops. 12 inch strips. Thank you, Samantha. How are you? Haven't seen you in forever. All right. Hey, Dawn. How are you? Okay, so we're going to put um, these two together. This one and the plaid. And like I said, I cut them to 12 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. Oh, thank you, Joanne. You know, I was um, I was making some of them earlier because I was thinking about adding them. The kits are uh, 20 or 20. I was thinking about something else. The kits are $50 plus shipping. And you get everything, you know, you need to make. You get the pipe cleaners, the uh, wreath frame, the mesh, the ribbon, the sign, and mesh tubing. I did. To that place in Maryland is like three hours, Cindy. Yeah, it's a good distance away. I mean, I could do it in a day. Um, but, yeah, it's three hours away. Yeah, it was the... Offre, Berwick Offre um, Ribbon Outlet. Yeah, so it was about three hours. So I could do it. I mean, I could do it in a day if I had to. You know, leave pretty early and then get moving. So I'm just putting two. Thank you, Anna. In each of the ties, so it looks like that. <clears throat> Alright, so now we're doing these two. And folding it in half. Yeah, I was, like I said, I was making some of the, yeah, Berwick Offre Ribbon, I think it is. There's an outlet in, um, in Maryland. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. I've been telling everyone about your shirts. Kathy is the one who made the shirt for me from a different canvas with a K. I know, I was so excited about them, Kathy. You know I was, because I was driving you crazy today. <laughs> How'd your weigh-in go, Kathy? All right. It's 20 minutes from you? Oh my goodness. That's awesome. Have you been there, Marlene? Hey, Peggy. Oh. <laughs> I want to know if anybody's been to that um, Berwick Offre um, place. Yes, I only put ribbon in the full ties. Now, that's just my preference. If you want to put them in... Um, you know, make them all. <laughs> hey, it's better than gaining, Kathy. It's better than gaining. Yeah, if you want to put them in all, you can um, you can definitely do that. I just prefer, you know, to put them in there. Thank you, Connie. A different canvas. Kathy from a different canvas made them. She has a Facebook page. In fact, Kathy, if you want to put a link to your Facebook page on here so people can find it. It's a different canvas with a K. Oh, really? Oh. Never knew that. Yeah, someone was telling me um, that they were going to go on their last live, and I was like, oh, I would love to go. But yes, yeah, three hours away. So that would be six hours round trip. We could do it. You get wise chips and the ribbon. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> All right. So 
this is the last one on the top. I love potatoes. Potatoes of any kind. Chips, french fries, mashed potatoes, anything you can think of I love. <clears throat> All right, so now we're moving to the bottom row. We're going to do the same thing around. <clears throat> and then I did, um, it's funny you were talking about the ribbon bows because I was thinking about putting a couple on here. It's eight hours for me. Oh, okay. Eight hours. That's a long trip. I know. I want to find someone that's been there to see if it's really worth a three-hour drive because that's a haul. That is a haul. Yeah, that's a long trip, an eight-hour one. Now, we are going to have some ribbons left over, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do with them, because we're going to do something a little different on this kit than we did on the last kit. <clears throat> Just a little different, not much. Hey, Linda, how are you? I am in Pennsylvania. I'm about an hour outside of Philadelphia. I'm like smack dab between Philadelphia and Lancaster. So I'm about an hour from Philadelphia and an hour from Lancaster. This is a 14 inch frame from the Dollar Tree. I just am one of those weird wreath makers. I prefer to make my own wreath frames. Um, I don't know. I just like, like to do it that way. Awesome. No problem. So there Kathy put in the link her, her Facebook page if anyone is interested and the shirts are great oh there you go so hit her up and i'm sure you know like that apron i had done um i'm sure she could do aprons too Oh, no problem, Terry. The poofs are 12 inches. Thank you, Sue. Okay, so we just have one more to go here. Oh, you did? Um, Carolyn, I do under um, the video section on my Facebook page. There are um, a couple... Yeah, it is a little bit. A couple, um, I used to live in Doylestown. Oh. Yeah, there's a couple of videos there. And if you, if you look and you can't find it, just send me a message and I will try to find it for you and send you the link. That is so funny, Susan, that you lived in Doylestown and I lived in Midlothian, not far from you. Okay, so that's the wreath with all of the ribbons on it. So what I did now was I went ahead and cut the whole rolls um, to 12 inches. So what we're going to do with the ones that I have left over is I'm just going to take them and fold them over each other and then kind of make a little, little loop and then I'm just going to take it and gather it in the center and make like a little bow out of it. So we're not going to put them in every one because we're also going to put in here um, the mesh tubing too. 
okay and I'm putting it in not the ones that have that same ribbon but the different ones so see if can you see what that looks like just like a little bow in there okay so then in this one we have one of the bunnies so again we're just going to take it and fold it over on itself and then over again like that and then just gather it in the middle and just like a little bow so we will skip that one and we'll put one down here so if you don't want to make a like a big bow like I did on that one like that one I used the leftovers to use to make a bow you can use um, your leftover ribbon so again these are just cut to the 12 inches the same as I cut all the streamers <laughs> thanks to shell no problem yeah just add a little something add a little something on top the ribbon tails are 12 inches now these aren't going to be huge, but it'll just still add a little something to it. Okay, so we'll take this one. And I'm doing about every other one. So not every one. Because we still have the um, tubing to put in there too. So let's see. We have another one of these to put in. Okay, so we're going to add this one in here. Thank you, Dawn. I appreciate it. I'm almost to that 10,000 mark. I'm inching closer. That one in here. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm putting it in, I'm putting the ribbons in the different tails so that it kind of helps to tie it all together. So I'm not putting it in the same ribbon streamers that have that tail in it. I think this is the last one here. Thank you, Kathy. Yeah, I really like these kits. They turned out good. So we will put this one here. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. Since we added those little bows in there. Then we're going to take our tubing and I cut these to 28 inches and then we're going to add a yellow and a pink in each of the um, tails. Oh Pat, try sign up again. I, you know what? This mini chat is driving me insane. Okay, so we're going to put it right over that bow but we're going to put it this way okay so the bow is going from side to side that little bow in there so we're going to put these tubing up and down and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take those little pipe cleaners and just wrap it around to just curl them up so that they don't stick straight up Okay, oh no, well, I hope you're feeling better, Robin. No worries, you do what you have to do to get better. Okay, so this one, since that one doesn't have a bow in it, we will put it side to side. Okay, and then just kind of pull them apart. Kind of let them go all over. Hey, Kathy. Okay. 
And you always have to fix your tails again. All right. And like I said, these I cut to 28 inches. <clears throat> so all I do is I take them and fold them in half and then in half again. Oh, thank you. All right, so this one has that little bow. So what we're going to do with this one is we're going to put this up and down. Tie that in there good. And we're going to curl these pipe cleaners. Now, if you want, you can cut the pipe cleaners. Um, I just leave them in there and kind of have them as another decoration. So again, I cut them 28 inches, fold them in half. Oh. Um, that's weird because on my phone, I, I have it on my phone and my computer just to make sure it doesn't mess up and I can see everything. Okay. Tr Kathy, try going out and coming back in and see if that helps. Is anybody else seeing it that way? That's weird. Huh. All right, Pat, what are you saying? You, oh, <laughs> used you <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah try going out and coming back in sometimes it's just wonky on one end or something okay so again this one has the bow so we're going to go this way on it Oh, good. Okay. Maybe it's just her computer or something. <laughs> I know. I hate spell check. It's like, what are you saying? I have no idea. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. Okay. Whoops. Did I drop it? No. Okay. Um, the ribbon I got from my um, wholesaler, and I have it, actually I have some kits left, if anyone's interested in the kits, but I also have, I think, four sets of this ribbon left. It's only three yards, um, but it's enough to do, you know, plenty to do the wreath. But yeah, so if you wanted, like if you bought the kit and wanted extra, I only have four extra sets. And it is sold as the set. All right, so the top row is done. So now we're going to do the bottom row the same way. Whoop. Go down. So again, we just I cut these to 28 inches, folded it in half, and then in half again. <clears throat> I know. I was wondering where you were in the group, Robin. I haven't seen you lately in there. Hopefully we'll see more of you. Next Tuesday night in group, Robin, we're going to do bows on a Zoom call. So I hope you can make it. This week in the group, we meet a fun grapevine bunny. how this is turning out. <clears throat> well, if you can't, you can always watch the replay, Robin. No biggie, but we'd love to see you again in there. Okay, so we are getting around here.
Love that pink bunny ribbon. Just, I think, a couple more to go. The ribbons I cut to 12 inches. The, um, the streamers I cut to 28. Kimberly, they are in my Etsy shop. I can um, put a link for you. And there's three different kits. So this is just one of them. Uh, let me see if I can. This kit. All right. Okay. Okay. That's for this kit. And then, like I said, I have two other ones in there as well. <clears throat> hey, Shirley Lang, how are you? Hey, Lynn from New Jersey. Okay, so two more to go. We, I do, Donna, yes. Yep, and we meet on Tuesday nights. And once or twice a month, we will do um, Zoom calls, which is uh, an app that you download. You can do it on your computer, on your phone, on your iPad, and that allows me to see you like you see me. You're welcome. Okay, so last zip tie here. Or not zip tie, but. Okay. All right, now, okay, so here is the sign. I love this little guy. If you don't, won't do the mesh in the bubble method, how long would you cut your ruffle method? Um, if I do it in the ruffle method, I would use 10 inch mesh and I would cut it, um, if you if you use the frame like I do, there's 18 pipe cleaners. If you cut the mesh 20 inches, you'll get 18 pieces out of it. You can also cut them 30, which you would just it would be a little fuller, but um, you wouldn't get you know as much out of it. Okay, so we're going to this has a little hook on the back here, so we will use that, and then we will put one down here. All right, now, this, what you, this is a little um, metal, it's a jewelry hole punch, I don't know if you guys can see that, it has a little kind of hook on the bottom there, and it will cut right through the metal. So, what you want to do is just take it, and it's as easy as that. That's it. Okay. And then you might want to do it side to side also, so it doesn't move around on you. So I'm going to do one on each side here. Um, this I got from my wholesaler. Alright, so I'm going to get some silver wire so you can't, you won't be able to see this at all. Let me cut that. Cut a couple pieces here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to feed this wire through here and tie it off. And just twist it around. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Yep, so if you are on here for the first time or haven't liked and followed my page, please do so. And if you want live alerts, type live and you will get an alert. Uh, but you do have to follow the directions that the bot is giving you. And then 
you will get alerts each time I go live. And that does only work in the Facebook group. If you're watching on the replay in YouTube, it doesn't work on YouTube. Sorry about that. So I do download all the videos that I do, or most of the videos that I do, to YouTube. So if you guys want to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that would be great also. I'm just going to use this little hook that's on here. For our fourth one. Okay, so I'm going to get it set where I want it and feed this right through the mesh. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I have this crossbar. I like to try to get at least two on the crossbars so that the um, sign does not like slide back and forth. Oh, awesome, Linda. Yeah, you have to send me a picture when you make it. I would love to see it. Yeah, I ordered more because I ran out of stock and people wanted some more. So I ordered some more. They just haven't come in yet. All right, so then I'm going to take this and we'll put it on here all right so then they are both on the crossbars so it won't move you know slide around cut some of this off too much Okay, and then we have two more so it doesn't move side to side also. But, I mean, it's pretty sturdy on there. It's not going anywhere. But I'm going to do it side to side also just so it doesn't move around too much. And this doesn't have a crossbar, but that's okay. Laura Jean, how are you? Thank you, Dora. Appreciate that. <clears throat> I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to tuck that under so it doesn't poke people's doors. And we have the last one here. Yeah, it just takes a little while to get the poof method down, but you can do it, Kathy. Hey, Brenda, how are you? All right, so last one here. I'm just trying to feed it through this mesh. Thank you very much, Carl. I appreciate you sharing. And we're just going to bring that around. enough. Okay. All right. So then you always want to kind of, now this kind of sits up a little bit. Fix your ribbons. Fix your streamers. Get everything the way you want it. Because they kind of get smushed when you're moving everything around. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. Okay. Make sure you get all this the way you want it. Oh, thank you, Shirley. Get them fixed up. Okay. All right. What do you think? Cute, huh? I love this little chick. So cute. So earlier I did, I was I was playing around with my um, some other ribbon I have. Now this doesn't come in the in the um, kit, 
but I was playing around with some ribbon and I made some little ribbon flowers and I thought maybe, I don't know, we'll see if we like it or not. I'm going to add a couple because I did the blue and the white to match the little bow tie on the little chick. But maybe just a couple, you know, on each side like that. So now this was the basic kit, but you can add stuff like this. You can get the um, little star from eggs from Dollar Tree and add them to each of the streamers. Yeah, you know, or you can add the bigger eggs. So you can just, um, you know, add to it. So I like these little ribbon flowers on here. I think it brings out the little a little blue. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them on here. But like I said, this is just this is you know extra. This doesn't come in the kit, but um, I love these ribbon flowers. Hold my ribbon and scrunch them in the middle, but they seem to bunch up in the middle. Yeah, they do. They do. They just sometimes they just scrunch a little bit and. Okay, so look, that just adds, it adds another little touch to it. I love that little one. And then I just made three of them, so I thought I'm just going to add them here and there. I love the ribbon flowers. I think they're adorable. Now, I'm not going to pull these down tight either. I'm going to kind of keep them sitting on top. So if you want them sitting on top, you don't want to, you kind of want to keep it there because if you pull it, it'll pull the ribbon flower in. You see how that is? So if you, that's another thing that if you're pulling too tight into your um, pipe cleaners, you could be pulling them down. Try not doing them so tight and that may help as well. So one little one there. Wrap this around so they're not sticking out. Yeah, I was playing with ribbon flowers. I just, I don't know, I tend to make them more at Christmas time and that, but I love them. I just, I made like some orange ones with dots and some little ones with the little flower ribbon. Okay, so we put that one on that side. So then we're going to put this one on this side. Okay. And again, you don't want to pull it tight because it will pull it down into your wreath. If you leave it a little looser, it won't, it'll sit more on top than pulling it in. I just thought this little blue and white, thank you, Lord Jean, kind of brought out a little bit of the, um, like the blue and white in his, well, her or his little bow tie. Oh, yeah, I love the flowers. I love making them. Yep. But, the, you know, that's just a little something. They're very easy to make. They're not hard. Um. And it's just a little extra touch you can add on there. So like I said, I do have a couple of these kits left. Um, so we're done. Thank you, BJ. So that's it. Thank you very much. I like the ribbon flowers. That little touch of blue just brings something out a little bit, so... Thanks, Laura Jean. Yeah, right, Shirley? Yep, just something a little different. Adds a little, you know, a little extra touch to it. So, all right. That's it for me for tonight. I will be back on. I might come back on tomorrow to show you guys the boxes I got. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. Yeah, don't forget to check out Kathy with a different canvas with a K. Um, yeah, I might come on and... I haven't looked at the Michaels boxes yet. They were $4. So, yeah, I think they turned out cute. 
yeah, I had a little bit of ribbon left, so I was like, mm, I'm going to make some. If I have enough, if you guys buy one of these kits and want some of this ribbon, I'll throw it in there for you to make some of these flowers. But, yeah, it's cute. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, we will see you on Monday night, if not before. And don't forget to like and share and follow my page, if you would, so I can get to that 10,000 as we get closer. I am going to do a giveaway for, the, um, for reaching 10,000. So be on the lookout for that, and I will post it in my on my page when I get to 10,000. So, so exciting. Good night, guys. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for sharing, and have a wonderful evening and a wonderful weekend. Whew, it's almost a weekend. Thanks, guys. Bye.